this is this is an extinction level event of the old way of doing things. Yeah. So this command and control, this walking down the hall and making sure people are around, this you know, soft intimidation of things mm -hmm. and this kind of soft kind of mob boss tactics. <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't work, and they need to move forward from that. I'll tell you one thing: denial is a powerful thing, right? right. And at the end of the day, even those who don't know, they don't know, right? Fine, but there's more than the do know and are just in denial about it. They refuse right. to accept it. They're mopping the the bridge of the the the, uh, the deck of the Titanic at this point, right? Right, because they're saying that we can't let go of the way old things the way old things functioned. You know why? Because it means giving up some control. It means giving them more respect. It means giving up some profits, right? right? And I'm sorry, but if you if you want to go from 55% to, you know, 60% and you're not willing to give your employees anything as a result of that, then you deserve to fail. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? At that point, I, you get what you deserve in that point. The whole too big to fail thing, I don't, I don't believe in that. I believe that the market will tell you what you what needs to tell you. And the market's telling you right now, screaming at you right. to make a change. And it's the change is not higher salaries, right? The change is not, right. you know, twenty dollars an hour instead of eighteen dollars an hour. Uh, you know, right. that's what people are doing, right? right. The change right. is basic respect for an employee, right? right. If, you, if you have an employee that works for you and you respect them, you're saying like, listen, you know what I mean? Right. We're going to give you benefits, not just with salary benefits, but we're talking about right. taking care of your, your health care. We're talking about saying, okay, well, let's make sure that your work life balance makes sense. Let's make sure that your boss actually listens to what you're saying when you right. get the idea of what's going on. Let's talk about basic respect things, right? Let's talk about, hey, just investing in the leaders in your organization so they're actually leaders and not just managers, right? That's a huge step forward. And that's where the culture of feedback and all those kind of culture stuff comes from. It's not just some pie in the sky nonsense, right? It's not just, again, it's not just throwing more money at the problem. If you give someone more money, studies have shown, every HR professional knows this, right? Studies have shown if you get someone, an employee that, that comes to you and says, I got this offer from somewhere else, I'm going to leave it once it gets something better. If you match or, or break or, or, you know, beat that offer, right. they're only going to stay for another six months or less. Right. They're, 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 they're going to stay as long as they get another offer, right? right. And they'll All keep right. happening over and over again. There are people like that for sure, but the majority of the staff is not like that. The majority right. of the people are going to say, you know what? Yeah, maybe I'm making 10% less here than I made than I could make over there, right. but the benefits are better. My leader is better. People right. don't follow salaries. They follow leaders. Right. right? If you've got a leader who you'll run through a wall for, you're not going right. to leave that leader to go somewhere else with, with the devil you don't know. Right. right? 